Hey, what's up, everybody? Nikolai518 here. Welcome back. Today, I want to show you a website called ProGate.com. I have used this website for a little bit to learn different programming languages. It's pretty helpful, and uh, I would definitely say it's affordable. So for the moment, I am going to take away the webcam so you guys can see everything. This is the website right here. Um, as soon as you go to ProGate.com, I'll have the link down in the description. It's going to ask you to make an account. Just make an account. Um, and then once you make an account, this, is, this will be your home page. So as you can see, uh, they offer all different types of courses, HTML and CSS, so like front end stuff, stuff like uh, jQuery, Java. I did a ton of this stuff before I went back to school. These are even cool ones too, like Git. Um, you definitely want to learn, uh, you know, GitHub, Git Bash, command lines, uh, database languages, and you know, they regularly update new languages too. It takes them a little bit, but you know they are actively updating it. So the site is definitely alive. I've never had a problem with them as far as like payments go. Um, I actually found out about them on Twitter. I tweeted out, uh, "Hey, you know, does anybody know any good programming websites I can go to to kind of learn? You know, I know about Code Academy, but you know, what are some other options?" And these people actually tweeted at me. Uh, they introduced themselves and they said, "Hey, check it out." So I did ended up loving it. I gave them some feedback. I like, you know, direct messaged them and said, hey, you know, there's a certain word spelled wrong here. Or this was a little bit confusing. And they've always been really polite. They're based out of Japan. You know, they, they usually get back to me in 12 hours. Um, they'll just be like, thanks for the feedback. Like, you know, I'll get it fixed up. Thank you. <clears throat> so it's cool. They're interactive. The website's pretty cool. And if some of you design websites, I believe the term is gamification. Something similar to that, where they kind of make a game out of learning. As you can see, this is my account up here. Big homie. I'll try to make it a little bit bigger. So, this is my account on level 117. These are the courses that it you know offers as we went over. So they offer different slide libraries if you want to, you know, learn a different way. I'll show you some stuff that I've been working on. So, you know, here's my name and my level. I'm 117. I've cleared 340 exercises. Uh, lessons completed, 18 total. So you can typically complete half of a course for free. So as you can see here, um, you know, there's different levels to everything. I'll try to get to, let's see, so for Python, right, there's Python 1 and 2, and that's, I'd say maybe 1 and 2 is for free, and then if you, you know, subscribe to the website, you can get access to Python 3, 4, and 5. Uh, there's tons of different courses, you know, as you can see, I completed quite a few of them. But this is what I'm going to be using going forward to make some videos, I think it's really cool. I'm currently uh, subscribed, so I got the Pro. In 2018, the price was $20. Now it's only $10. Um, I would show you how to do it, but it does kind of show some of my personal information, so I will just give you the steps. You would click on this. You're going to click Account Settings. Then you're going to click on the Billing tab, and then click Activate or Reactivate, um, depending on if you've already subscribed. As soon as I subscribe, you're able to cancel the subscription, so it's not, you know... You forget about it and it keeps running. So as soon as I subscribe, cool, I got 30 days, I'll unsubscribe and it'll just say, hey, you know, your time's over on March 21st, 2020. I want to show you a little bit, um, just kind of how everything went. So lately I've been working on JavaScript, so I think that's a good spot to start. So let me go to my courses. So JavaScript right here. You know, getting started with JavaScript. Welcome to the world of JavaScript. In this lesson, you know, we'll get started with basic JavaScript. At the end of each section, there's an exercise for you to do. So and they have different like characters. Ken the ninja. It gives you some information. So like together with HTML and CSS, JavaScript uh, makes up the basis for front end development. So it kind of gives you a little bit of, you know, information about the language. And then it kind of breaks down the code a little bit. 
So console.log, a command to print text in the parentheses. And then, you know, we'll give you an exercise. So, you know, let's run the first exercise. You can test your results right here. And then if you're kind of getting stuck, you're not really sure what it wants you to do, you can click here and shows the expected results. So we're all set with this. Leveled up. Nice. All right, let's continue on to the next exercise. And then I'll just show you how, um, you know, when you want to print out text using the console in JavaScript, uh, make sure to put it in a single or double quotes. Uh, most of the statements end with a semicolon. Uh, your code may work without it, but it's better to put it. So they also try to instill, you know, good values in it. While you don't quite need the semicolon, um, it doesn't hurt to have it there. And again, you want to make sure the code is like, you know, uniform. Everything looks the same. You don't want some lines without it, some lines with it. It could be confusing. You know, then they start getting into other things like, you know, making comments for your code. It'll give you another exercise. So, you know, now let's start with an exercise and it'll kind of break down, you know, your first objective. Print hello world to the console, which has already been prepared. So here's the console. This is clearly where it wants me to print it. So this is print hello world. So from the reading, I remember I need singular double quotes. I'll print. You can just copy this and it will grab everything here. It also wants me to print studying JavaScript. So it's time to write the console. It's going to grab the, uh, yep, there we go. Cool. And I got to end my line. Make the following of line of uh, comment. So from the reading, I remember it's two forward slashes. We could also reference the comments before. So I think this is good. Cool. Let's see what they wanted. Cool. Let's go. So it's pretty cool. It, it keeps you going. It doesn't kind of like overload you, um, you know, depending on how much time you got. I like to do these on break at work or my lunch is like 30 minutes. So I'll get it up and eat my lunch and just kind of try to knock out a couple slides. And you can definitely pick up these languages pretty quick and you'll notice uh, similar things across all of them and you know even if it's just something on the side uh, it's pretty cool and you can do the first part for free so if you want to do the first part on your own that's cool um, but then afterwards you know you can watch my videos because I am a subscriber and I'll be doing the later parts so from here I think I'm just gonna pick a language I believe I'll start with JavaScript and uh, you know we'll start that series we'll just do all the JavaScript courses and uh, yeah, just take it one language at a time and hopefully at the end of the road, we'll be pretty well-rounded and have some experience in a lot of different languages. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll catch you next time.